In this video, we will show you how to create a geometry from an imported mesh. Here we have Comsol Multiphysics open and our mesh already imported. We can click the Create Geometry from Mesh button to add the feature. Once this feature has been added, you'll notice a new component was added along with a new geometry, which we can see in the Settings window is Mesh 1 from our first component. Since this mesh is a surface mesh and surface object, we need to convert it into a solid. If this was a volume mesh we imported, this wouldn't be required. Go to the Geometry tab, and under Conversions, select Convert to Solid, click the object, and click Build Selected. We are going to create a block which will completely surround our imported mesh geometry as well as have it lie within the center of the block. Click Build Selected, and you'll see that our block has been generated. We can toggle on the transparency to see our imported mesh geometry lying within the center of the block. We are going to subtract this imported mesh geometry from the geometry of the block. To do this, we go under Booleans and Partitions and select Difference. Click the block as the object to add and the imported mesh geometry as the object to subtract. Click Build Selected and our new geometry has been created. We can now go to the Mesh tab and select Mesh 2 and click Build Mesh to generate the mesh. Here the meshing for our finalized geometry has been created. Let's create a mesh dataset and mesh plot for the second mesh. Notice when we click the plot button, in the model builder window, a mesh dataset and mesh plot were both added simultaneously, and the naming convention for the mesh nodes and the mesh plot label all reflect the mesh being used, which is mesh 2. Now we can toggle off the transparency change the level to volume, the element color to gray, and enable an element filter to show the elements in the X direction located at a position greater than 25. Click plot and you'll see we have successfully extracted our imported mesh geometry from the geometry of the block. This concludes our tutorial on how to create a geometry from an imported mesh.